Hey, what's up, buddy, man? It's White Boy Lockdown Radio. Over here, hey, I'm trying to bring White back. All right, smash subscribe, like it, share it, leave a comment, man. Uh, hey, you can see the title, Sissies and Punks. All right. Uh, the exact reason why you should never break the law, the exact reason why you should be doing right out there because you do not want to be locked up with these weirdos. That's what they are. Um, it's, it's, uh, they're weirdos. It's wide open. Um, you know, they even uh, they even have a set. You know what I mean? Um, that's the most dangerous person that you want to bump. That's, a, that's a, the most dangerous person you want to get in the scrap with for many reasons. Uh, for many reasons, man. You know, the, the most common reason, man. Uh, hey, look. Yeah, you don't know what they got. You know, you, you start throwing hands with somebody and blood mixes. Hey, man, you're going home with AIDS possibly. You know what I mean? Uh, on top of that, you got war daddies. These dudes are really in love. These dudes are really in love, man. Um, and so you don't just have that dude. You got the boyfriend or the husband, or whatever it is. You know, maybe they're running a train. And now you got three of them squatted up. So yeah, man, it's it's a, it's a catchy thing. Nobody likes them. Best thing to do is stay away, mind your business. But I'm gonna tell you a couple stories, man. Uh, my first experience, right? The first time I was in prison, man, um, I was I was going through reception, and uh, I wasn't even really in the joint yet. You know what I'm saying? And I'm in there, and I'm playing cards. I'm playing Dirty Hearts. It's a game. It's kind of like a. It's it's exactly like spades, but you replace the heart. It's a little tiny different than than a, a little different than spades. Real similar. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I'm playing Dirty Hearts. What, what a couple dudes I met in the dorm, and uh, we're playing for the tumblers of water. It's a fast game, real quick. Um, you, you, you can play a, a lot of games within an hour, you know what I mean? A lot. So, keeping track, losers got to chug a tumbler of water, man. And, uh, man, when you drink enough water, your stomach will hurt, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, man, I'm pounding water, I'm pounding water. I was, man, I was pissing all night, all night. Master count came. And CO walks around, you know, show your tag, DC number, blah blah blah. Hit the hit the rack, and uh, I'm pissing all night. The two three in the morning, I jump off top bunk. One of the only times I had a top bunk. Um, I jump off it. I walk down the aisle, you know, bust the right to go to the you know the the open bathroom there with all the urinals and all the crappers. And uh, I'm half awake. I got I got a piss like a horse. And sure enough. I'm there letting the drain, and I hear some noises, man. Um, I hear some noises, uh, and they, it was it was a weird groaning, weird noise. Um, and then I, I I smelled like manure, straight manure, cow manure status. Uh, disgusting. Um, you know, I'm half awake. You know, and I, I, as I'm peeing, you know, last stall, I'm, I'm like, what what the hell's that smell? I look, and two black dudes. Airing each other out. I'm talking about. I'm talking about pound nation back there. I'm just like, whoa! What in the hell did I just see? But uh, it was disgusting, man. Uh, your stomach is like you. You, you get it's like a sick feeling, man. And I remember walking to my bunk after seeing that, smelling that, and hearing that, man. Uh, oh man, uh, I'm in my bunk, and where I was at, the time difference from. Back home was an hour. I'm still in Florida, all right? I'm still in my same state, but the time difference was an hour difference if I was to call home. So I remember, man, uh, before I went back to sleep that night, you know, I remember telling myself, I'm like, man, what what planet am I on? What planet am I on? You know, what, what? But hey, man, that was just the beginning of it. Um, you know, if I had to break this down to one video, um, the type of sissies and... and, and, and uh, in prison, man, I'm gonna break it down. I guess the best way I can do this is by race. Okay, um, you got the black dude, man. The black dude that's uh, he's all tatted up. He's got the gold teeth. Um, you know, he's gangsters that come. He's uh, sagging his pants. You know, he's 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 gangster with it. He's he's thug nation. And the second the opportunity comes, nine times out of ten, man, he's gonna find him, find him a boy, find him a boy, and fall in love with it, man, and. Uh, you know, nine times out of ten, he's going to be at a set, and uh, it depends what the set does, man. It depends where his rank is. It depends what he's how he's putting in. 
But hey, man, a lot of times they let it fly. They let it fly. That's how weird it is. Now, some games don't let it fly. I mean, I'm, I'm just openly talking here. Some games don't let it fly. They'll violate the crap out of him and, and, and all the way to the max. Um, and, and crap. Even the same gang, I've seen it where uh, at the main unit, they take him up through there. You know, buck 50 him, everything, man. And uh, he might get transferred around um, instead of the main unit. Now he's at an annex or something. Or, or maybe he went to a work camp, and now he's still in the same set, but not, now they let it fly over there, over there. Yeah. Hey, man, it gets weird, okay? Uh, but that's not always the black one, man. Uh, you got the white dude. White dude, man, when you see the white sissies, man, uh, a lot of the times, man, there's some scary white boys, man. They're scary. They're scared to death. Uh, you know, this is their first time in prison. They're scared. Uh, they, 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 they don't join the gang, so they, uh, they bang their way out. Um, Man, you see it all the time, man. It's sad. It's it's uh, it's crazy, man. Um, you, you will see it, man. I, I told a story on the live last time I went live. I believe it was the last time where this dude I was in reception with, uh, you know, your circle, your circle gets smaller and smaller and smaller as you're passing through and going to your main camp. I was talking to him. He was all right. Man, a Couple within the first week, man, they turned him out. Yeah, man. Um, but, you know, another another... A big time of this man that I seen. A beginning of the channel, I was telling some stories about uh, Mr. Chandler, the dude I knew. He's, uh, I think he's pushing 80 now. He's definitely 70 something. He he actually escaped from Rayford. Um, check that video out if you haven't. Um, I was in this dorm. It was messed up. Um, I had caught a couple DRs. I went to confinement, got out. I go back to confinement, and um, I just got a disrespected officer. Dude, uh, dude told me to go back and shave. I was going through some stuff, man. And I told him, uh, F you, F your mother, and F everything you love. And man, he that, that CO whooped me, man. And uh, I went to confinement, got out, and then I got caught with a knife. All right? I didn't get caught with it, but they hit the room. And, and uh, my roommate had a pipe, and I had a knife, man. So, man, it, those, these, those DRs will jack your custody up. So I'm in and out of confinement. And then I get out and catch the knife. I'm in this, anyhow, they, my custody went up and I'm in a, a crazy dorm right now. H dorm, hell dorm, horror story dorm. I used to call it the horror story. Cause man, there were some horror stories back there. Um, but the dudes had a lot of time in there. Um, it was a dorm with a lot of time. I mean, I'm talking about Mr. Chandler has life. That was an original cocaine cowboy. Um, he escaped on top of that. Um, you know, there used to be detectives come and see him, and he would be like, hey, no, man, you know, right plan, wrong man type stuff. Um, but there's a lot of time back in this dorm. And, you know, sometimes the CEOs would walk back there, and they would say something. Hey, man, y'all better hold it down, man. Too much noise in here, or this dorm's dirty, or whatever it is. And, and, and you'll hear some real threats, some real threats. Usually in an open bay dorm or something, uh, you hear the same mumbling, loud mouth, mm -hmm. You know, but back here, man, it's uh, them dudes mean what they say and say what they mean. You know, they ain't got nothing to lose. That's the type of dorm this is. So a lot of them dudes had 20 plus elbows, life. I'm back there, man, with less than five years, but because of my custody getting jacked up, I'm back there with some real killers, man. It was a, uh, it was horror dorms, all I'm gonna say. But uh, man, now this type of this type of situation is not an open bay dorm, okay? It's not. Bunks everywhere and this and that. It's it's two man cell. You can you can close your door and it locks. Um, a lot of times when dudes would get jumped by a gang or whatever, they'd run to the cell and slam themselves in. You know what I mean? But the gangs had it to where they just go to the window, literally sign, and 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 it would pop. Um, it was crazy. It's the horror door, man. Um, but yeah, these dudes, man, it was like plot work, man. Yeah, in this dorm, you know, master count, forget if it was 10 or 10.30, you know, that's it. In, in most institutions, that's it. It's, 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 it's lockdown. That's it, man. Show your card, whatever, whatever. And uh, this time, lay, lay your head down and rest. But uh, on this dorm, because of the amount of time, they do master count on a Friday, a Saturday, and a Sunday. And then they pop the doors afterwards and leave the TV on until like 2 or 3 in the morning. I think they did that everywhere, but... They did it as like a privilege type situation in this dorm. So yeah, uh, man, every Friday, Saturday, I, 10.30, if I worked out, 
man, I would uh, get into a good book, and that was it, man. I, I, I usually crash. But every now and then, on the Bobo Cable Network they had, um, I forget what it was. It was like a, a BET type thing. Uh, man, whatever it is, I, I forget. Damn, I used to know it. But anyhow... They, they sometimes you might you might catch bad boys or maybe you catch a, a transporter or maybe you catch some old movie man that's kind of worth watching you might go out there and by the time you, you might try to watch it but with the loudness and the ignorance around you man you, for me I would just go back to bed unless you had a headphone thing where you can connect to the TV then you can pipe out so anyhow every now and then I walk out there and catch one of them movies but you'd see it man you'd see the door, you know, you could open close it, these cells, man. The blankets, they, they hang, they hang the blankets up. It's, it's like a tent, man. And uh, what, what, what are you going into another cell for? I mean, what, you have, is there a private talk going on? Is there some type of business meeting? No, man. Them dudes are getting aired out, and you know, they're sucking something. I mean, it's, it's crazy, man. Wide open with it. Wide open with it. Wide open with it. Um, it's disgusting, man. It's, it's one. It's one. It's absolutely why you, you should stay out of the penitentiary. It's, it's it's a situation, man, where you you wanna, you know, when that stuff's going on, especially by your living quarters, you have to straighten it, right? Um, and your first reaction is, man, I'm a, man, this ain't going down by me, right? And, and, and you want to snap, but man, look, man, I'm telling you, that's a dangerous spot. You have to do it. You have to do it, but man. I think I told this on Death's channel. Um, I had a buddy. He he ended up he fought a punk. It was a white dude versus a black punk, and man, he was whooping the dude, whooping the dude, and uh, he just stopped fighting because he, he was he tagging him. The punk could fight now, tag him, tag him, and you know, hey, blood blood started spew, spewing from the punk's face, man, and man, he stopped. My buddy stopped fighting, and he he didn't know what to do because he was like applying pressure. And then he's just like, man, I'm straight. The punk was mad. And then, man, it, it went, popped off from them, man. Punk got the boyfriend, this and that. I'm telling you, man, it, it's crazy. You really got to go in on them dudes. Best thing is just to stay away, man. It's, hey, man, I don't get down like that. Straighten them off, rip, man, and uh, let them know where, you, where you're at, man. But uh, another time, um, this one right here hurt, right? So I, I, I can do tats. I'm not a good tattoo man, but if, if I had to, if my back was against the wall, I didn't have my bros, we didn't have a hustle going on inside there, if I had to, I could run a tat. Uh, I, I got big old hands, um, so when I, when I hold the gun, I got a heavy hand, if that makes sense, and I tend to dig, but I can tat, but I, I really can draw, really, really good, um, and I was helping this dude, man, as a white dude, his name was Dirt Bike, he was in the dorm, and he, he was starting to get cranked up and running tattoos. So I would draw for him, and it was, it was guaranteed money, you know, um, guaranteed money because when someone wants a tat, you know, wherever, they're, wherever they are in line, they're going to, Dirt Bike's going to give the dude a list, right? And when that list is bought, hey, you, you get your tat. He, he started off, and he was getting better and better and better, that it came to a time where he didn't even have time to draw the stuff, right? He just had time to to run the ink and you only have yeah you're in prison people think you got all the time of the day that's not true you got to do it on, on, on a sweet shift you got to have a lookout man and and when the CEOs come and walk around they got to do the quarterly their, their little walk around you know you, you have you got to tighten up you have a code word it's a big it's a big uh, system I'll do a video about it one time but uh he got so busy that he couldn't do any of the drawing so I'd help him out it was me and another dude help, helping him out, right? I didn't like, I could draw, if I if I put my name on, if I stamped it, it had to be 100%. So I would help him when I can, and I would get paid for it. So it was a win-win for me, you know, and the dude was all right, I used to talk to the dude. Never in a million years, man, what I thought, he was a punk. So he's running tattoos, I'm drawing for him, he's got his thing going on. I go to chow one day, it was Tuesday, chicken night, I'm going to get that bird because I'm working out, come back and he, his stuff is rolled up. I'm like, hey, what happened to the dirt bike? They're like, man, he went in. I'm like, he got caught, he got caught tattooing? They're like, nah, man, he was getting tattooed. I'm like, what? They're like, man, he was getting he was getting tattooed. I'm like, what do you mean? He, he's supposed to run on dude. They're like, man, they told me what went down. Hey, man, he was in the back stall doing the same thing when I lost on the Dirty Hearts. I'm like, God, 
damn, man, dirt bike? It was a disappointing feel, man, because I used to talk to that dude. I did a little business with him, and it's just like, damn, you know, like, like who's next? Um, man, it's crazy, man. Uh, punks, no bueno. Uh, prison, no bueno. Um, over here, I'm bringing white back. I make white cool every day. I look in that mirror. You see what it says? White ball out on radio. Man, smash the subscribe button, man. Hey, I'm sorry about the topic, but hey, it is part of prison. Um, no bueno. And until the next one, man, stay out, stay safe, and stay solid, man. Join the members.